let A be the three by two matrix, two minus one, zero six, minus three, two, and B be the two by three matrix, minus three, three, minus one, two, five, minus three. Determine the products AB and BA if they're defined. So let's first work on the product AB. So then we'll have A times B. Now before we do the calculation, let's make sure that this is defined. A is a three by two matrix, and B is a two by three matrix. Since these numbers on the inside match, the product is defined. And the outer values will tell us that the product should be a three by three matrix. So AB is defined and is a three by three matrix. Now let's work it out. So the matrix A is two minus one, zero six, minus three, two. The matrix B is minus three, three, minus one, two, five, minus three. And their product is going to be a three by three matrix. So let's leave space for nine entries, three rows and three columns. There's gonna be nine separate dot products. Now we'll just work our way through them systematically. The first row, first column element is going to be the first row of A dotted with the first column of B, which gets us minus six, minus two. The second row and the first column dotted together will get us zero plus 12. And the third row and the first column dotted together will get us minus or positive nine plus four. And now we'll repeat working with the second column. The first row, second column will get us as a dot product six minus five. The second row dotted with the second column will get us zero and 30 plus 30. And the third row, second column will get us a dot product of minus nine plus 10. And lastly, let's work on that third and final column. The first row dotted with the third column will get us a negative two plus three. The second row dotted with the third column gets us a zero minus 18. And the third row dotted with the third column gets us a three minus six. And so if we clean up these values, we find that the matrix AB is equal to the three by three matrix, working our way by columns, minus eight, 12, 13, one, 30, one, one, minus 18, and minus three. Now let's focus on the other product, on BA. Again, let's check and see whether or not BA even makes sense. B is a two by three matrix, and A is a three by two matrix. Once again, the values on the insides match, so the product is defined, and the final product will be a two by two matrix. So let's work it out. So B again is going to be the matrix minus three, three, minus one, two, five, minus three. A is the matrix two minus one, zero, six, minus three, two. And their product is going to be a two by two matrix. So we'll leave some space for four elements, four dot products to work out. The, now let's work them out. The element in the first row, first column will be the dot of the first row in the first column. That's gonna get us a minus six plus zero plus three. The element in the second row, first column, as a dot product, we're going to have uh, four plus zero plus nine. The first row, second column, will take the first row of B dotted with the second column of A, and that's going to get us three plus 18 minus two. And last but not least, the second row, second column dotted together gets us negative two plus 30 minus six. And so if we clean this up, we find that BA is equal to the matrix negative uh, three in that first entry. Uh, in the second entry, we're going to have three plus 18 minus two, which is 19. Four plus nine is 13. And then the last entry is gonna be a 30 minus eight. So that's 22. And so there's BA. As a final observation, note that, that it's almost never the case that AB and BA match. They don't commute.